it's Jonathan from G4 Guitar Schools and we're going to be checking out Bruno Mars's Lazy Song and this is going to be for a beginner and beginner's version. So let's check it out. So the first thing that you'll need is one of these little things. This is a capo. So that is going to be clamping onto your guitar on the fourth fret like this. And that now changes the key of the guitar so beginners and um, uh, people who are starting out can get their fingers around these chords. So we're going to be checking out the main chord progression for this song now. So the first chord is going to be a G and we're going to do one bar on G. Then we're going to go to a D chord, one bar of D. Then we're going to go to a C chord and then we're going to do two bars of C. Alright, so the strumming pattern is we're going to be strumming on beats 2 and beats 4. Alright, so we're going to go 1, no strum, strum on beat 2, no strum on 3, strum on 4. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, and on beat 1 and 3 we want to use the palm of our right hand and mute those strings. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's give that a shot together. All right, on the G chord, here we go. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so now we're gonna put that in with the other two chords. So we're gonna go G, one, two, three, four, then D, one, two, three, four, and then C, one, two, three, Keep looping that around and around and around. So let's do that together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now to D. One, two, three, four. Now to C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. G. Two. We're going to start on the G and we're going to do the G, D, C chord progression like we learned in the last um, little part. And we're going to do that three times in a row. So let's give that a shot together. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then D, one, two, three, four. Then C, one, two, three, four. So now we've done that three times. Now we're going to go into the next part, which is they're going to wrap up that chorus. So we're going to do the G. We're going to start off exactly the same. So G, so it'll be one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go to a B7 chord. So that's when we're going to put our second finger on the fifth string on the, uh, on the second fret. First finger on the fourth string on the first fret. Third finger on the third string on the second fret and the fourth finger on the second fret on the first string. And I'm going to strum five strings. And you're going to keep that strumming pattern exactly the same. So it's going to be one, two, three, four on that B7, just for one bar. And then we're going to go back to our C for the two bars on the C. So that wrapping up that chorus, it will sound like this. G, one, two, three, four. B7, 2, 3, 4, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's do that whole chorus together. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then D, 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 1, 2, G, one, two, 
get ready for the B7. One, two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, one, two, finish on the G. There we have it, that is the chorus, and it's gonna be the same every time you sing that chorus and play that chorus. So we're gonna be checking out that verse section now. So the verse, is basically the same pattern as we've been doing, the main, main chord progression. So we've got the G, then D, two, three, four, C for two bars. And you're gonna do that four times. The next part is the upset a, upset a, seven, cause I can. That little section, I apologize for my singing, it's terrible. I'm a guitarist, not a singer. <laughs> so we're gonna do that section, we're gonna start with an A minor chord. Alright, so we've got an A minor chord. Then we're gonna go to a bit of a tricky bar chord, so I'm gonna give you an easy version of this one. So what I want you to do is we're gonna put our first finger on the second fret on the first string, second finger, third fret on the second string, third finger. Uh, fourth fret on the fourth string and fourth finger on the fourth fret on the third string and then just strum the bottom four strings that's going to be a simple B minor chord for those who can do it get that bar from that fifth down and you got that full B minor so we've got the A minor and then the B minor and then we're going to go to our C chord and then we're going to go to our D chord the strumming pattern for this is the opposite of the previous strumming pattern. So we're going to be on beats one and beats three. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, then B minor, and then C, two, three, four, D. And you're going to let that D ring out. Okay, so let's give that a shot together. Ready? One, two, on the A minor, three, four. One, two, three, four, B minor, one, two, three, four, C. Cool, so we're gonna go all the way through the uh, verse now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G. Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, one, two, G. Go. One, two, three, D. One, two, three, four, C. and then we go back to the chorus. So the bridge is just a, um, four bars, or three chords in this one. Same strumming pattern as your main strumming pattern. We're gonna start with an A minor chord. it will be one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to a D chord. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to an E minor chord. And that's gonna be for two bars. So it'll be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So again, that bridge is A minor, one, two, three, four, then D, one, two, three, four, then E minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you're gonna do that four times. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the chorus into the bridge. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then D, two, three, four, C, two, Brings 
brings us back to the chorus. Check out the YouTube channel where you can play through the entire thing uh, with me or jump along with Bruno Mars. Check out his track, chuck your capo on that fourth fret and play along with the recording. That's the best thing you can do now since you've got all the parts. Feel free to grab the PDF in the link below. Have fun.